Here's something absolutely hilarious. The genius Einstein of politics, uh, you know, herself, Tommy Lahren, uh, <laughs> dropping some knowledge on electoral uh, strategies, right? So here's what she said on Twitter. She said, give these, quote, with quotations, democratic socialist, bigger microphones, makes 2020 easier for us by the day. Now, this is not the first time that she said something like this. She's also echoed this uh, before. She said this before. I think I might have talked about it, too. I think she went on Fox and Friends. It was like, oh, like, this is great. You know, it makes it easier for us politically to win. So this isn't the first time that she said something like this. Uh, now, I do want to start out by making the distinction that what she's talking about is not actual democratic socialists. She's not talking about, you know, actual democratic socialism and that they want, you know, people who want to, uh, you know, <laughs> just have the workers owning the means of production. That's not what she's actually talking about. She's talking about your Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Bernie Sanders uh, type democratic socialist because we do now have to differentiate because it has been turned into this interchangeable term now and I've done multiple segments on this because I really tried to fight the compare you know the the interchangeableness because anybody who looks at the actual definition of it is going to go hey look at what it actually is but that's not what their actual beliefs are and so I tried to explain that but obviously I'm not going to be able to get shit across for shit uh, <laughs> so what she's talking about is your AOC types, you know, your Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez types. Uh, the first time I think she stated that was shortly after that election of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Now, I really want to say that the idea that these, these positions of these, you know, social Democrats is what they really are. The idea that the positions of free education, or at least more affordable education, a living wage in every state... Uh, Medicare for all system. The idea that really any of these any of these actual issues are unpopular amongst American people is is just straight out false. It's something that you know Kyle Klinsky said in his Fox News appearance. The idea that these things are unpopular is a really laughable joke. And anybody who has any sort of a grasp on what happened in the 2016 election will be able to very outright and clearly explain to you that hey. The Rust Belt fell, fell hard for Donald Trump, and the reason why it fell is because Trump outlefted Hillary Clinton on trade. That's what, that is what he did. So he outleft-winged Hillary Clinton, and that's the reason why he was able to flip the Rust Belt to go for him. That is the absolute reason why. So you're talking about these different things. And again, Trump, the thing that really differentiated Trump from all the other Republicans, and there's a reason why he blew out every... I think a lot of people sometimes forget how much of a just complete and utter beatdown the Republican primary was. It was an absolute beatdown. It wasn't even close. It was a destruction and evisceration of Ted Cruz, John Kasich, Jeb Bush. Oh my goodness, don't even get me started there. It was an unbelievably embarrassing destruction. But there's a reason why. It's not because he was out there promoting neoconservative ideals. If Donald Trump was your run-of-the-line Jeb Bush-esque conservative, he wouldn't have won. There's no way. He wouldn't have won. But, you know, when you talk about, like when he said, you know, we can't have people, you know, dying in the streets, referencing how, you know, we need to have make sure everyone has health care. So he he's much different. And, you know, Bernie Sanders brought up the big sign in Congress saying, look, man, like Donald Trump himself said that, you know, I'm not like these other Republicans. I'm not going to cut Social Security and Medicare. So he has that different S to him, and that is what resulted in that. And so, and if you look across the board to the Hillary Clinton camp, well, what did they do? Remember, I believe it was Chuck Schumer who said this. He said, you know, for every, uh, for every Bernie Sanders S progressive that we lose, we're going to sweep up two moderate republicans that those those idiots morons buffoons and imbeciles dead ass thought that it would be at least an acceptable or somewhat optimal plan to say fuck you to the base say fuck off we don't want you anymore and you know we don't essentially what they're saying is we don't give a shit about you that's essentially what they're saying they thought they were going to sweep up two moderate republicans for every uh <laughs> they thought they were going to 
pull up two moderate conservatives for every progressive. And I thought this was hilarious. I remember reading this article when it came out. I was like, what the fuck are you thinking? Are you stupid? And it turned out to be a massive failure. Because when you when you don't actually run on these issues, and had Bernie Sanders actually not been cheated out of an election, I mean, it would have been a totally different story. But... Like, if Hillary had done anything remotely progressive, she she probably would have won. Had she not, you know, had she come out saying, we're going to bring the jobs back, she probably would have won. Had she chosen Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren and not Tim Kaine as her VP, she probably would have won. You know, just the fact that she actually blew that election is one of the craziest things in history, I would probably say. It's pretty insane. But here's here's what I will say, Tommy. Give these Democratic Socialists bigger microphones because it does make 2020 easier for us. It makes it easier for us because progressives are just going to sweep unbelievably in the presidential election, just like Obama did in 08, except it'll be even stronger.